Hey guys, guess what? I think it's a full moon today. <gasps> it is a full moon. Take a look. Wow. Whoa, the moon looks really cool. I hope we can all visit there someday. Did you know that the moon is very hot during the day, but very cold during the night? Let's learn some more fun facts about the moon. Heck, can you help me out? Sure thing, Ryan. Hi, everybody. Let's learn all about the moon. Ryan's World Galaxy Explorers. The moon is a huge rock that orbits around Earth. Some planets like Jupiter and Saturn have lots of moons, but Earth only has one. If you look up on most nights, you'll see the moon shining in the sky. It's the brightest object in the sky after the sun. That's because the moon doesn't make any light of its own. It reflects light from the sun back to the Earth. The moon is about one quarter the size of the Earth. It's 238,900 miles away from us. It may seem like a big distance, but it's pretty close compared to most planets' moons. The moon is so close to Earth that its gravity pulls on Earth's oceans, which makes the water rise and creates tides. Earth's gravity also affects the moon. The moon looks round to us, but Earth's gravity pulls on it, so it's actually shaped like an egg. On July 20th, 1969, NASA astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin were the first people to ever walk on the moon. Nowadays, we mostly study the moon through telescopes and spacecrafts, but if you were to visit the moon, it would be very different from Earth. Let me show you. Unlike Earth, the moon has almost no atmosphere, so be sure to bring oxygen with you if you're coming to visit. You may want to cover your nose, too. Astronauts who have been to the moon say it smells like burnt gunpowder. Yeah, it does smell kind of stinky. I expected the moon to be made of old smelly cheese, and all I see is rocks. What are you doing here, Combo? Oh, I'm just taking a vacation. I thought I'd check out the moon. Hey, Peck, since you know so much about the moon, why don't you show me around? I could use a tour guide. Sure thing, Combo. Follow me. Hey, wait for me. It's really floaty up here. The moon's gravity is only one-sixth as strong as Earth's gravity. That means you could jump and throw things way higher than you could on Earth. Wow! While you're here, you'll notice that the moon has thousands of huge pits called craters. Yeah? Chew! It's so dusty. Oh, someone should vacuum all this up before I have another allergy attack. The moon's craters are made when comets, asteroids, and meteoroids crash into its surface, spraying dust and rocks all over the place. Watch your step. Oh, uh, thanks for the warning. The near side of the moon has large dark spots called Maria, which is Latin for seas. Time for a swim. Combo bunga. Don't bother bringing your swimsuit to the moon. Maria are actually craters filled with hardened lava. Isn't there any water on the moon? There is water in the craters near the moon's poles, but you can't swim there either since the water is frozen solid. Frozen? How can all the water be frozen? It's so hot up here. Well, Combo, when the sun shines on the moon's surface, it can get up to 127 Celsius. But when the sun goes down, Temperatures can sink to negative 153 Celsius. Uh, I'm not dressed for this. I should have brought a jacket. Let's get back to Earth before I turn into a popsicle. That's enough space travel for today. Back to you, Ryan. Thank you for learning about the moon with me. Remember, always stay happy and rise up. Bye.